So, following the death of my dad in 2013, um, I wanted to uh, make some money for Air Ambulance as um, they tried to help him. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't make it, but um, I subsequently found out that they don't get any funding from uh, anywhere but uh, charitable donations. So, uh, I know a lot of musicians and we put together a, a blues album to uh, make them some money. So yeah, last year's project was really, really successful. We made quite a few thousand pounds for the Air Ambulance Service, Hampshire Air Ambulance. And um, it culminated in a slot at Allsford Festival uh, where a lot of the people who were involved came up and played their songs and we, we had a great day. A long time have to go around again. to the air ambulance. It's an amazing cause. So I asked everybody again if they'd like to be interested in, in doing another one and everybody said yes and more. So uh, off we went. Doing the guitar bits. Here he is. Hello. And uh, and I'll do the bass bits in there. I feel like I need you to hold me back. Actually, I feel I'm racing. Yeah. So that feels good. Yeah. Look at this. This is what I've done. That's the drum kit they've got to use. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Tons of <laughs> with you. I could probably do the click a bit louder. If I could do it all a little bit. Yeah. Hey Tim, how's it going? And that could be the one where we use Tally's got that old kick drum. That yes. He reckons it's worth having a go with. I'm setting up this amazing drum that I've got a Vivo very recently. I've been looking for one of these for about five years. And it's a calf skin, like 1940s, 1930s drum. And it's beautiful. Calf skins are original, and it's the first time it's ever been recorded. Next on the agenda were the guitar players. So we had an evening of guitars um, and lots of. Uh, squealy, noisy guitar players, um, making lots of racket. steady cook isn't it I'll give you all the ingredients and you just make a masterpiece out of it so I had quite a few singers again this year uh, a few more girl singers this year actually which was great a few more female singers and uh, we had an evening where I had two evenings with singers turning up and um, some of the stuff was just fantastic you know you know when you hear the track when you when you originally record it you think what would the singing be like on this one and then someone comes along and does something completely different but absolutely amazing and for me that's that's the best part you know suits me so well ain't need nothing i love your touch 
banners on fire. Well, I'm fresh out of kindness. It must have been something I've done. Now I'm falling through your net. Keep your head on the final mile. Give me strength. Give me speed. Give me everything I need. Hang on, lady love. Keep your head high on the final mile. Oh, don't hold your back too fast. Cause you hit me with your devil's tail. This is the highlight of our night tonight. <laughs> Bit of live sax. Here we go. How cool is this? This is very cool. Awesome. So this time, uh, we decided we'd go down a bit more of a conventional route with the um, with the recording process, and we recorded to a click track, so that. Uh, in the edit process, we had a lot more flexibility with what we could and couldn't do. It hangs on the A for quite a while. So it hangs on the A and then it's twice... Uh, so on, on the E yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's twice... <laughs> It's just a really relaxed atmosphere, you know, every, everybody comes in, everybody gets into it, and it was just a really great vibe the whole time. Hey, 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 you can see it. Hey, you well? Yeah. Keeping good? Yeah. You have left a monkey in the swimming pool. That should be the intro. <laughs> <laughs> you have left a monkey in the swimming pool. <laughs> 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 I do realise it's a euphemism or I've totally forgotten. Yeah, yeah. loads of cool teeners. Twenty seven Cortinas. Yeah, I sold two of them before Christmas. It's a real shame I had to move right. from the house of GMI's now. You do like your Cortinas. Man, there's quite a few of those around. Last year we uh we did a bit of a silly question with everybody and asked everybody what the name of their first band was and some of them were, were brilliant. Um, so this year we thought we'd ask everybody what was the first album they bought was. It, it probably was like a, a smash hits or a now one or something like that. It would have been something poppy. I was, I was pop before I was rock. The first album I ever bought was Meatloaf Bad Out of Hell. Well, there was three at once when I thought I was in heavy metal and I was given Destroyer by Kiss, Power Slave by Iron Maiden and a Creeping Death 12-inch by Metallica, <laughs> which I swiftly followed with. The second thing I bought was Master of Puppets. My first album was a Metallica. That was like the third or fourth one. My first one was Americana by The Offspring. Uh, Whitney Houston, um, do you want to dance with somebody? My mum had it, I loved it. Uh, conspiracy one by The Offspring, on cassette. Is that what we Phil Collins, both sides. Prokul Harum and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, and I can't remember what it was called now, but it had Conquistador and all that stuff. Wow. So it was a bit, a bit <laughs> yeah. different. I think it was Rubber Soul by the Beatles. And I still like that album a lot today, but it might have been, I can't remember, it might have been the Rolling Stones first album. I'm not that old, but it like when it came out. First album bought was Usual Illusion 1 oh. from R Price my first trip on the train on my own with my mates to Fairham. I still have the tape. ACDC, if you want blood. Hey, even that one, it's better than I'm all both at the same time. I don't know which. Oh God, um, first proper album. First proper album. I, I bought two in one day, actually. I bought um, 100 Minutes of Status Quo, and I bought uh, If You Want Blood. 
first vinyl I ever bought was the Mr. Ben. Um, <laughs> it was, it was the Mr. Ben. I've still got it now. It's the only vinyl that I've kept. Me, uh, Michael Jackson, bad. First album I ever bought was Duke by Genesis. I think it was Elton John, but I don't hold me to that. <laughs> I think it was a Hawkwind album, but I cannot be absolutely sure about the name of it. I think it might have been Ten in Search of Space or something like that. The first album I bought was Hawkwind by Hawkwind. King's Controversy by The Kings, of course, about 1964. Love it still, one of the best albums ever made. So the first album I ever bought was This Beauty uh, in WH Smith, Lancaster. The very first album I bought was Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory. Definitely, maybe, Oasis. Uh, it was Wonderful Life by Black, that Colin Byrne King guy. It was the best of the Jackson 5. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> The first album that I ever bought was Queen's Greatest Hits. What was the first record you ever bought? The first CD you ever bought? Mm. <laughs> I have no idea actually. I don't know. I know, oh. it had, I know it had the Fresh Prince of Bel Air on it. I can't remember what it was called back No idea. <laughs> God, no idea. I think it was an Osric Tentacles album. <laughs> Is it a I think Go. the first album I ever bought was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles soundtrack. It was The Clash's first album. I could not tell you where from, when, or anything. What was the first album you ever bought? <laughs> I think it might have been Boys to Men. <laughs> so the album will be launched. Rescue Me 2, we're calling it this year, this time, Rescue Me T-O-O 2. Uh, and it'll be launched again at the St. James Tavern in Winchester on Sunday the 22nd of November from 4 till 7. And uh, most of everybody who played on the album will be there to play their track and have a good afternoon, enjoy the day. Um, the St. James was where we held the uh, launch last time and um, James, the landlord, has been been really great and letting us do it there again he's been really supportive and uh, it was just a great afternoon so here we go again when i was about uh, 12 13, 12 or 13 maybe i used to fantasize about um, getting invited on stage with kiss i wanted to write some say oh, look my dad's got a pub If you want to come to Fairham in Hampshire at any point, there's a free pub lunch for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it'd be really good to have you guys around, and then if you fancy it, I'd love to come on stage with you at the Wembley gig and just, just do a song or something. Yeah. Let me know, yours sincerely, Ben Stark. Ben Stark. Yeah.